16,361. That's quite a large number considering how many people that there are in Byron. 16,361 is the number of people, the number of civilians that died in Iraq because of terrorism last year. If everyone in this room, all 17 of us, were to factor into that number, we would die two and a half times every single day. Terrorism and violence have long-lasting and short-term effects on the civilians of the Middle East. And today, I'll be telling you about some of the short-term and long-term effects of terrorism and violence. To begin, I will first tell you about acute stress disorder. This disorder is described by um, described by Ralph Ryback in his paper called After a Terrorist Attack, published on April 16, 2016, in his medical thesis. It says that terrorism, it says that acute stress disorder is a conglomerate of nine or more effects from stress, such as um, severe sadness, high anxiety, or confusion. Um, acute stress disorder is only lasts from three to 30 days, so it is very short term, as compared to some of the other effects that can happen because of terrorism. Now that I've told you about one of the short-term effects, I will move on to one of the long-term effects, PTSD. PTSD is otherwise known as post-traumatic stress disorder. And many of you may know this already, but PTSD is a mental health disorder that is caused by a traumatic event. Now, sufferers of PTSD can struggle from many of the same symptoms as people with acute stress disorder, but um, James Hennis, in his article titled, What is PTSD? Um, from the US Department of Psychology, published on September 2nd, 2017, says that PTSD is the long-term effects of stress-related effect. The long-term action of stress-related effect. So some of the effects that a sufferer of PTSD might have would be depression, drug or alcohol use, and night terrors, which are just nightmares that would wake you up. And then PTSD also affects many more people than you might think. Um, Yuval Neria, a PTSD studying psychologist, said in her article titled PTSD in the Middle East, published on July 12, 2016, said that up to 5% of people still have PTSD two months after a traumatic event. Today, I have told you about how PTSD, or how terrorism and violence affects civilians in the Middle East and what effects it can have on them. Um, so now that even though the 16,361 people have died, the people affected by their deaths are better able to be helped by us.